la la oh rising donut here and today we will be playing call of duty black ops 3 and nothing has changed much changed the class a bit um still using the peacekeeper got rid of the what was I having? The Path of Sorrows for an MR6. Peacekeeper attachments, quick draw grip stock. And let's get straight into this game. If you do like the videos, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more daily content. Still using the scythe. I need three more kills using the scythe, and then I can get the double kills, the two or three double kills using the specialist weapon and ability. And I'm pretty sure I only need 23 more headshots with the Peacekeeper to get the policy camo. Then I can work for gold, the other five attachments. I find many people. Score streaks still the same. Uh, H60, UAV, and a care package. All. Seem to be all the way over here. Oh. And what I was just about to do then was activate a UAV, but apparently it doesn't matter. He has the luckiest double kill ever. And if it is this guy, he went round the corner and got shot by me eventually. Six and thirty two. He did not have a good game. Wow. I had a game um someone a couple of days ago. That did that did not go well. I think I had a KD before I raged quit. I don't rage quit, I shot three teammates and then got kicked. Cause I had a KD of three and twenty two. I think I did not have a fun game. It was hardcore team deathmatch and it was on knockout. And it did not go well at all. Get any one and that was a BMR six. Um I'm gonna go random and I'm gonna open a common wallet. Get some more players or whatever. Spark. I don't mind the spark camo. I think it's better than most camos. I don't mind the dust, but honestly, I think they could have made it better. And they're gone. Let's 
infection. Wow. Oh, and we're off. I have no idea from last game if I had a scythe ready or not. Hardcore team deathmatch. I, I might not. I have no idea. Let's go. Oh, I'll go this way. Normally there's one person that... Really, dude? Normally. Oh, it's around the corner on the platform. Let's go into this place. Whoa! I was not expecting of that. Hey, buddy. What the hell? Seriously, what is this game? Wait, is he behind me or in front of me? Oh, he's there. He took his time though. And I have a lovely toy. Just open up the screen. La la. Oh. One I can eventually get in the window. And there's. They're all at spawn. Damn it. Oh, I got a headshot. Come on, come on to corner. No. Oh man, shoot him in the foot. What? This one's there. 
a good shot. Whoops. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, it seems that how I hold my controller, I I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm half on the right trigger, which is to shoot, and when I spawn, I'll just shoot randomly, but I've only had one major incident so far with it, and that's when I didn't know that I was holding it. I mean, I'm, I'm holding it normally now, but I could spawn, and, well, die and spawn again, and they'll shoot for some reason. But the only major incident I've had is when, I think it was Berserk, the map Berserk, I was running, I got shot and killed, as you do on Hardcore, and what had happened was my finger was it was on the right trigger and I immediately shot when I respawned and as I shot a teammate spawned right in front of me so you can guess what happens I shot a teammate and it was a headshot so not being as lucky and they're catching up oh two and eighteen see that could be the main reason So close. Well, we're pulling this back, and I'm not gonna speak till I win.
job, CVP. Mission reassignments inbound. Never send an organic to do a machine's work. That's going to be it for this episode guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, see you next time and bye bye.